Hello, I'm Julie Dent with Academic Technology, and welcome to this Blackboard training tutorial. The topic for this video is using the Grade Center report feature. Blackboard's Grade Center allows you to generate reports based on Grade Center data. From your Blackboard course, click the arrow to the right of Grade Center on the control panel. Click or mouse over the Reports button and select Create Report. Reports cannot be saved in Blackboard. They are generated for the purpose of printing. Enter a name for your report. This information will display on the printable page. If desired, include the date and institution name. All of these fields can be edited. Remember that a field must be selected in order for it to appear on the report. By default, Course information will display the course title and ID. Name of users by role allows you to include the instructor's name on the report. If applicable, names of teaching assistants, course builders, and graders could also be included. The custom text box allows you to add any other text you want to display on the report. In the Users section, select which users to include in the report. All users will include every student in the course. Selected users will include one or more specific users. If there are groups created for the course, the All Users and Group option will be visible. User information will include first name and last name by default. For this report, we will also select Last Access. The Columns section allows you to choose which columns to include in the report. Columns currently displayed in the grid, in display order, is the default setting. All columns will include every column in the course grade center. All columns in category will allow you to select one or more specific categories. Selected columns will allow you to choose specific columns. If you have defined grading periods, then all columns in grading period will be visible. Finally, we can choose columns hidden in the Grade Center view. Column information options include description, due date, and statistics. For our report, we will include due date. Footer information options include custom text, signature line, date, and course information. For our report, we will include a signature line. When finished making selections, click the Preview button. Preview is preferred over Submit because it makes it easier to change options and generate a new report. Once the report window opens, review the report contents or use the browser's print function for a hard copy of the document. Scroll down to see other students. When finished with the report, Close the window and return to the Create Reports page. From here, you can change settings and generate additional reports. Click Cancel to return to the Grade Center. Thank you. This tutorial has been developed by the Information Technology Division of Western Kentucky University. If you have questions or need further assistance, please contact the IT Help Desk at 270 745-7000.